Imagine an aircraft that can take off and land like a helicopter, but without the noise, expense, and emissions. That's the vision of firms developing so-called EVTOL, Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Vehicle, aircraft. Designed for relatively short journeys and a handful of passengers, dozens of firms around the world are betting there is a market for them. They argue that the EVTOL aircraft can reduce the cost of flying, as their electric motors are cheaper to run and maintain than helicopter engines. Added to that, they argue their aircraft are quiet and emissions-free. Bristol-based Vertical Aerospace is one firm hoping to be a player in this new industry. Its VX4 took off for the first time earlier this year. For the first flight it was tethered to the ground and only spent 10 minutes hovering. But real progress will come in 2023 with a series of test flights. The aircraft will transition from vertical takeoff to forward flight and fly at higher altitudes and faster speeds. The aim is to get the VX4 certified to carry passengers around the middle of this decade. Vertical Aerospace is racing numerous other EVTOL developers who are also testing aircraft. Volocopter, based in Germany, plans public flight tests of its Volocity model next year. It hopes to get the aircraft certified in 2024 and then launch services in Singapore, Paris and Rome. Also next year, Lilium plans to build the first production version of its EVTOL. Based in Germany, Lilium has tested five prototype aircraft since 2017. Rather than using rotors like Vertical Aerospace and Volocopter, Lilium uses 30 electric jets that can be tilted in unison to swing between vertical lift and forward flight. The big hurdle for all these projects is to get certification from aviation regulators and exacting an expensive process that can take years.